Hey, Shalom Akim, Yahweh Shem Yahshua Barakatum. Today we're going to read the first book of Ezra, chapter 4. This is 1st Ezra, chapter 4. Then the second that has spoken of the strength of the king began to say, O ye men, do not men excel in strength that bear rule over sea and land and all things in them? But yet the king is more mighty, for he is lord of all these things, and hath dominion over them. And whatsoever he commandeth them, they do. If he bid them make war the one against the other, they do it. If he send them out against the enemies, they go, and break down mountains, walls, and towers. They slay and are slain, and transgress not the king's commandment. If they get the victory, they bring all to the king, as well the spoil, as all things else. Likewise for those that are no soldiers, and have not to do with wars, but use husbandry, when they have reaped again that which they had sown, they bring it to the king, and compel one another to pay tribute unto the king. And yet he is but one man. If he command to kill, they kill. If he command to spare, they spare. If he command to smite, they smite. If he command to make desolate, they make desolate. If he command to build, they build. If he command to cut down, they cut down. If he command to plant, they plant. So all his people and his armies obey him. Furthermore, he lieth down, he eateth and drinketh, and taketh his rest. And these keep watch round about him. Neither may any one depart and do his own business, neither disobey they him in anything. O ye men, how should not the king be mightiest, when in such sort he is obeyed, and he held his tongue? Then the third who has spoken of women and of the truth. This was Zorobabel, began to speak. O ye men, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth. Who is it then that ruleth them, or have the lordship over them? Are they not women? Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by sea and land. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men. These bring glory unto men, and without women cannot men be. Yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver, or any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go, do they not gape, and even with open mouth fix their eyes fast on her, and have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold, or any goodly thing whatsoever? A man leaveth his own father that brought him up in his own country, and cleaveth unto his wife. He sticketh not to spend his life with his wife, and remembereth neither father, nor mother, nor country. By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. Do not ye labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers, and looketh upon a lion, and goeth in the darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Wherefore a man loveth his wife, better than father or mother. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women, and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished, have erred, and sinned for women. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? Do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him in a pain, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admiral Bardicus, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taking the crown from the king's head, and setting it upon her own head, she also struck the king with her left hand. And yet for all this the king gaped and gazed upon her with open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. But if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter, that she might be reconciled to him again. O ye men, how can it be but women should be strong, seeing they do thus. 
Then the king and the princes looked one upon another, so he began to speak of the truth. O ye men, are not women strong? Great is the earth, high is the heaven, swift is the sun in his course, for he can passeth the heavens round about, and fetcheth his course again to his own place in one day. Is he not great that maketh these things? Therefore great is the truth, and stronger than all things. All the earth calleth upon the truth, and the heaven blesseth it. All works shake and tremble at it, and with it is no unrighteous thing. Wine is wicked, the king is wicked, women are wicked, all the children of men are wicked, and such are all their wicked works, and there is no truth in them, and their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for the truth, it endureth, and is always strong, it liveth and conquereth forevermore. With her there is no accepting of persons or rewards, but she doeth the things that are just, and refraineth from all unjust and wicked things, and all men do well like of her works. Neither in her judgment is any unrighteousness, and she is the strength, kingdom, power, and majesty of all ages. Blessed be the Most High of truth. And with that he held his peace. And all the people then shouted and said, Great is truth, and mighty above all things. Then said the king unto him, Ask what thou wilt more than is appointed in the writing, and we will give it thee, because thou art found wisest, and thou shalt sit next to me, and shalt be called my cousin. Then said he unto the king, Remember thy vow, which thou hast vowed to build Jerusalem in the day when thou camest to thy kingdom, and to send away all the vessels that were taken away out of Jerusalem, which Cyrus set apart, when he vowed to destroy Babylon and to send them again thither, thou also hast vowed to build up the temple which the Edomites burned when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees. And now, O Lord the King, this is that which I require and which I desire of thee, and this is the princely liberality proceeding from thyself. I desire therefore that thou make good the vow the performance whereof, the, whereof with thine own mouth thou hast vowed to the king of heaven. Then Darius the king stood up and kissed him and wrote letters for him unto all the treasurers and lieutenants and captains and governors that they should safely convey on their way both him and all those that go up with him to build Jerusalem. He wrote letters also unto the lieutenants that were in Celosyria and Phoenix and unto them in Libanus, that they should bring cedar wood from Libanus and Jerus unto Jerusalem, and that they should build the city with him. Moreover, he wrote for all the Jews that went out of his realm upon up into Jewry, concerning their freedom, that no officer, no ruler, no lieutenant, no treasurer should forcibly enter into their doors, and that all the country which they hold should be free without tribute, and that the Edomites should give over the villages of the Jews which then they held. Yea, that there should be yearly given twenty talents to the building of the temple unto the time that it were built, and other ten talents yearly to maintain the burnt offerings upon the altar every day, as they had a commandment to offer seventeen and that all they that went from Babylon to build the city should have free liberty, as well they as their posterity, and all the priests that went away. He wrote also concerning the charges in the priests' vestments wherein they minister, and likewise for the charges of the Levites to be given them unto the day that the house were finished, and Jerusalem built it up. And he commanded to give to all that kept the city pensions, and wages. He sent away also all the vessels from Babylon that Cyrus had set apart, and all that Cyrus had given in commandment, the same charge he also to be done and sent unto Jerusalem. Now when this young man was gone forth, he lifted up his face to heaven toward Jerusalem and praised the king of heaven, 
and said, From thee cometh victory, from thee cometh wisdom, and thine is the glory, and I am thy servant. Blessed art thou who hast given me wisdom, for to thee I give thanks, O Lord of our fathers. And so he took the letters and went out and came unto Babylon and told it, and told it all his brethren. And they praised the Most High of their fathers, because he had given them freedom and liberty to go up and to build Jerusalem and the temple which is called by his name. And they feasted with instruments of music and gladness seven days. That's the first book of Ezra, chapter 4. Yahweh Shemel Shai Barakatum. And as always, double shalom.